collective let's do this we're going to pop off with the millennial oracle deck here i'm going to get a message for the collective what does the collective need to know what does the collective need to know What does the collective need to know? Okay. I see a lot of... Okay, so I feel like we got canceled here at the bottom of the deck, and we also have well played, no chill. Okay, we got sus and gas. Okay, so I feel like some some of you could be like just booed up. I'm hearing like real booed up, like booed up, booed up, like y'all in the house booed up all the time because we got staycation and simp simp is just kind of like this is the energy of like somebody who would do anything to win you over the nice guy nice girl a fool begging okay so this is kind of like the energy of somebody love bombing you keeping you uh in the house trying to make you feel like you know i'll be back i don't move baby i stay just like that i'll be right back um while they're out doing what they want to do we got swerve here okay so this is to change direction abruptly not interested to send for a loop dodging someone or to dismiss i feel like somebody could be getting gassed okay um and you could be feeling like maybe it's something suspicious. It's something suspicious about this. Because why do they always want me to be in the house? Why I can't have any friends? Why this person don't want me to go out? Uh, you may be noticing like people have backed off from you, backed away from you. It's like before you know it, you don't have anybody to talk to. You don't have anybody around you. And it's because this person got you all booed up. But the thing about this is, is that they're out swerving. Like they're out doing what they want to do, living their life, having fun. Yeah, I feel like you could be taking time off of social media. And it's because, see, we got gassed again. I feel like you could be taking time off of social media. And the reason that you possibly like not being social is because this is what's going on. This is what's going on. Something good may have happened in your life. You feeling lucky, like you feel lucky that this person is like laid up with you all the time, always in your face, doing like what you want them to do. Um, like I feel, like I said, I feel like you kind of like are pushing people away, kind of like not communicating with outsiders. Um, this person kind of got you like, yeah, like this could could be the energy right here. Somebody is like really, really, really in the house. She got her messy bun, her pajamas on, her coffee cup. Like, yeah. Let's get some more energy. Let's let's see what's going on. We're going to find out what's going on. I feel like maybe you already have some suspicions about it, about this person, their intentions, their motives. We're gonna start off with the kipper. Let's let's jump into the kipper deck right here. Alright, show me this person's intentions towards the collective. What is this 
person's intentions. Are their intentions good? What is this person's intention? Okay, we got lovers. I feel like you could be working on the relationship that you have with this person. We got occupation and lovers. So they feel like they're working on a connection. We got adjudication and privilege, lady, and unexpected income. Watch out for your finances. Watch out for your finances. Okay. This connection could be judged all the time. Like people are always judging this connection. Could be because somebody um, is privileged. Yeah. Okay. Make sure that you're you're watching your money around this person. Watch what you tell this person that you're getting. Watch what you're spending around this person. But this person can look kind of like you having an eye, keeping an eye on things that like they're getting closer and closer to you. Um, and we need to find out what their intentions is first. Let's see what their intentions are. What is this person's intentions towards the collective? What is this person's intentions towards the collective? See, I'm telling you, it's a lot of laying around. Like, trying to get you comfortable. Okay. You feel like... Let's let's pull. Let's pull. Okay, so this person is they're tired of being in a battle with you. Okay, they're tired of being in a battle with you. We got the lovers. It could be a Gemini. Um, yeah, see the eight of cups. They're tired of arguing and then walking out. Um, this could be like a baby father, a husband. Um, a Aries. You know, this is a masculine energy. Okay, they want a new start. So, yeah, they're tired of uh, going back and forth. Yeah, but their outcome is the Knight of Wands. So, let's, let's see. Tell me why the lovers is here. Okay, yeah, this person tells you that they love you. They're tired of the going back and forth. Yeah. See, this person is telling you that they're falling in love with you or they fell in love with you all over again. Okay, so they want this connection. They want this connection. They're just tired of the arguing. Now, we got the Eight of Cups here. Maybe you feel like this person should take you out more. Why is the seven of swords here? Yeah, king of wands. You feel like this person should take you out more. You're kind of like tired of being in the house, tired of just, you know, tired of just looking at the same thing all the time, okay? We got the emperor over here. Let's see what's going on with this emperor. Page of Wands and the King of Pentacles. Maybe you can go to this person and ask this person for support in some type, some way, shape, or form. Could be uh, in financially. And you're surprised that this person is stepping up. I'm getting like this person is stepping into the shoes that you need them to fill. Okay. Now we got the Ace of Wands. There is like a new beginning. Yeah. It's like starting to... Uh, Take more trips and talk about taking trips, going out of town, doing new things, seeing new places. And I feel like that's the energy that you need. Okay, that's the energy that you want around you. Now, the Four of Pentacles, this person is holding back. They've been holding back. 
But at the same time, they're trying to keep your attention. They're trying to keep your attention by kind of like sitting you down um, and telling you that they love you and and it's kind of like grooming you, kind of like grooming you. But they feeling like this is going to keep your attention on them. Like they're trying to find a way to keep your attention. They're not sure if it's working or not. They aren't sure if it's working or not, but they're going to keep at it. They're going to keep at it. They're going to keep at it. You could be feeling like, you know what? I kind of want things to go back to how they was. You could be feeling like something's up. I don't know. You just got a feeling. So we got the moon and the high priestess and the queen of wands. You just feel like something's up. You feel like it's something. Maybe you feel like it's something up. This just could just be a suspicion. Yeah, I feel like you could you could just be waiting on something to pop up because of something from the past. You could have just feel like, oh, and it's just too good to be true. Like they don't never just sit around, want to lay up all day, want to. They don't never really be doing it. Okay, so you you could be feeling like, you know what? This relationship feels much better this time around. This time around, it feels much better. This is something that you wanted. You wanted to work on this. I feel like you were in, you and this person could have been in a very stressful situation before this person liked to piss you off a lot. But I feel like you feel like it's better, but let's make it even better. Let's start going out more. Let's start traveling. Let's start doing things more, okay? So, you could feel kind of getting suspicious because you're like, okay, this is new, okay? Like, you're used to arguing and bickering with this person. You're like, okay, this is different. Uh, do I want things to go back to how they were or do I like this? I feel like it was kind of suspicious. Okay, so we got the nine of wands here. Yeah, I feel like you don't want to give up on this situation. You're hoping for the best. You're hoping for the best. Okay. Now we got the knight of wands and the seven of wands and the two of cups. I feel like at one point in time, this situation was kind of on and off. It was kind of like all over the place. But it's like this person is kind of like, they're kind of like straightening things out, ironing things out. Um, you feel like, yeah, that was quick. Like, I, I just get, I'm just getting like, it's like, okay, all of a sudden, it's like, all of a sudden, you, you're doing right. It's suspicious. It's suspicious. But I feel like this person is just tired of the bickering. They're tired of arguing with you. They're tired of being on your bad side. They just want to fix things. They just want to resolve things with you. Um, I feel like if you were to present what you what it is that you really want, like going out, I feel like you want to go out on dates more. You want to get out the house. I feel like you want to do more of that. I feel like just bring it to their attention. Because this person, I see them telling you that if they, they fall, they fell in love with you all over again. Um, this is the time for y'all to cuddle and get closer. I feel like, okay, you're liking it, but it's like, okay, like, it's suspicious. So it needs to be like a what's next. You need to see something new. You need to see something new because you, you, you're kind of like suspicious of their intentions. All right, so that's the message that I got for the collective. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below, and I'm going to chat with y'all later.